Okay, I want to take a moment to talk a little bit about living a long time, longevity. Now, I've said many times, I think most of these longevity gurus are basically snake oil salesmen. And why do I say that? It's because, you know, I mean, what is a return that, that they have to worry about? You know, I'm going to tell you, you do what I do. You do what I say. You take my supplements, you listen to my program, and I think you're going to live a lot longer. You know, you're going to, you're, instead of living to uh, 92, I think you're going to live to 97 or something along those lines. Now, there's no way to prove that. If you die at 92, well, they go back and say, well, you should have only lived to 87, but thankfully you listened to me. There's no money back guarantees. I have never, ever, ever seen a 120-year-old walking around that was in good shape, that looked healthy, doesn't exist. So until we start seeing that, I'm going to hold my breath uh, with regard to, I won't hold my breath with regard to the longevity gurus, right? Um, now, interestingly, Lee, just on that topic, I wanted to share this study that was done back in the 1970s looking at centenarians in Japan. Now, Japan has historically had a very long life expectancy. They're traditionally some of the longest lived people in the world over and over again and have been for quite some time. And, you know, this was looking particularly at Okinawa, one of the quote unquote blue zones. Now you hear about the blue zones, oh, they eat, they're vegetarians and they eat, you know, purple potatoes and stuff like that, which is basically largely garbage. It's, it's just nonsense. But one of the things they looked at was of the people that reached 100 years of age in this study, the ones that live the longest, you know, compared to their, you know, normal lived uh, uh, peers, the people that didn't make it to 100, the people that made it over 100 had much higher intakes of animal protein compared to those that didn't live long. So that's very interesting, I would say. Now, what, you know, is that the only thing that, that affects their longevity? You know, clearly not. You know, is there a genetic component? Probably some, although it's interesting that the genetics seems to have not that big of an impact on longevity. So if your parents live a long time, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to live a long time. Lifestyle still has a pretty important role here. Um, I think, you know, the fact that in Japan, obesity is very, very limited. There's almost nobody that's obese in Japan. That may be changing a little bit, but historically, uh, and even today still, even though it's changing, there's still very, very s slim people. That probably has a huge role. And the other thing is they put a lot of... Um, value on the elderly. You know, these, the elderly are still considered valuable members of society, whereas in the United States, you know, we're sticking a lot of people in homes. You know, you get too old, you know, you start to smell a little funny. Guess what, Grandma? You're going to stay in the, in the retirement home. You know, we'll come check on you on Christmas and maybe Thanksgiving and give you a piece of, you know, a piece of pie. Um, and so I think, you know, how in, in, in this country, how do you make yourself still relevant as an older person. Well, you've got to stay fit, man. You've got to be in shape. You've got to be strong. You've got to keep your mental faculties well. So it's diet, it's exercise, it's lifestyle, it's sleep. All those things are super important because the second you become unproductive or uninteresting or you start to smell bad or you become a pain in the ass to deal with, oh, we've got you know, we to we carry these people around or, you know, you're, gonna, you're being put out to pasture. I'm sorry to say that. That's the truth. So don't let that happen to you. Stay strong, stay fit, you know? And I think part of that is obviously training. Part of that is uh, eating a good diet. I think a good diet includes plenty of meat. All right, guys, let me know what you think. How long do you think you're gonna live? I have no idea. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm turning 56 in two days. Hopefully I have, you know, a good 30 years or more left in me. We'll, we'll see though. Anyway, you guys take care. We'll talk to you soon.